Welcome to this week's video and I thought this time let's uh, just skip the intro and uh, jump straight into the uh, drawing process. So let's do that. I decided the best way to put into action what we talked about in the previous week's videos with uh, drawing fundamentals is to actually just go out there and uh, draw something. And since I haven't drawn cars in a while and I do like drawing cars, I thought, okay, let's do that. And uh, I also wanted to challenge myself a little bit since it's been a while since I've drawn only with a ballpoint pen and uh, ballpoint pen sketches are actually really, really fun to do. So I would, I would recommend you try it out. It's, a, it's an interesting medium to work with. Anyways, I constructed uh, the cube within my head and I constructed it around the car that I was looking at at the screen. Obviously I had a reference for this and then in my head I tried to construct the correct and also uh, take that cube and cut it into pieces and section it so I can see what's where and uh, how to draw it. And um, yeah, this is, this is how I work usually, so I don't really draw out everything, which is, uh, as you can also see in uh, this video, or you will see a little bit later on. But this is how I also tend to make mistakes because I am a little bit uh, impatient and I don't always want to construct everything super duper to the nth degree. And that's, that's how I sometimes mess up proportions a little bit. And you will see here as well, like the front, is where I was really paying uh, attention, the front proportions of the car, and th those work well. But then as I was going towards the back, I feel like the main body of the car got a little bit too squished and too slender. And I will fix that towards the end of the video when I am about to finish the drawing, and then I realize like, oh no, look at that, I, I don't like the proportions here. But it did happen that uh, up, up until that point, I didn't really notice it. Or I uh, also just get into the at a point where I just like, yeah, I, I don't care. I want to move on. And that's why I also, I just wanted to draw this one car actually. And then I was like, I really don't like the proportions of this one. So I'm just going to draw another one from, from a different proportion, uh, from a different uh, perspective that I actually like more. Uh, but yeah, so as I said, you could see me draw that not perfect cube around the car. And then obviously as we did also with the foamer, in my head at least, I have those distances. Okay, from this side, the wheel is this far and that distance fits that many times into uh, the car body itself and also into the height. And that's, that's usually how I always uh, draw these sort of things and also how I always draw everything when I uh, look at proportions. But instead of drawing everything on paper, I try to keep as much of it as possible in my head. And um, I, well, I don't, not that I don't recommend this, but I only recommend this once you have drawn enough and once you have uh, enough experience. For, for me, this is important because I'm just trying to also speed up my drawing process. The, the less pre-work I'm doing, the, the, the well, I, actually the, the, the rest, less work I have to do, right? L less pre-work, less work, you can be done faster. The only problem also is the less pre-work you're doing, the much higher the chances that you uh, mess up the proportions here and there, which also happened with me in this case. So you, you, you in your head, if, if you're good uh, constructing all these things in your head, then I would uh, suggest moving on to this sort of thing. But if not, just don't feel bad about doing those construction lines. And also you can see if, even with something as permanent as a, as a ballpoint pen or a marker or, or a fine liner, uh, I always suggest that you just draw those uh, construction lines as I did here with the, with the early box as well. Because if I see at least the, the edges, like, you know, from where to where that box goes, then I can imagine the car within it much easier. Uh, and from there on, it is easier also to do these little construction lines within inside of my head. And what I also do is draw these uh, construction or pre-lines, I would say, really, really thinly. So I use the, the permanent drawing tool, like in this case, the pen, in a way that I would use a very light marker. So I just, I barely touch it. I just make sure to put points for me to know from where to, where to draw or where to where to measure. And then I keep on coming over and over again when I start to detail. And that's when I actually come in with darker lines and I put down more lines. And even before that, I, I just put down one or two lines to see if it works. And if it doesn't, I just uh, put a couple down again. So you, you can see that quite well in uh, many of the lines that I have here, that the, I have a couple very close to each other, but I just didn't like how they were flowing. So I just redrew it. So 
it, it is all about using these measuring mechanics that you can build up in your head based on what we, we learned the previous weeks. If you don't put everything down, that's okay as long as in your head you're, you're clear with the fact what, what you're drawing and what you're uh, measuring in the end. Uh, this is sort of most of it what I wanted to talk about uh, this week um, is just make sure to measure make sure to look at those proportions and obviously have fun have fun as well but don't uh, don't rush ahead for the details don't rush ahead for the, the part that you know that is the fun part for you make sure to set down those fundamentals even even if those fundamentals are just you sitting and looking at that, that reference image for for a certain amount of time and seeing okay this this is the size this is this is these are the proportions and this is how i can translate it and just really look what distance fits into the car or fits into the the product that uh, that you're drawing how many times and that also can be humans obviously not just or animals whatever it's really taking a good look and and taking the time and not just rushing through it and, and drawing the, the fun details that are just some parts of the element, but really looking at, at the whole uh, product or the, the whole item that you're drawing and, and making sure that you understand the, the proportions and, and um, translate those onto the piece of paper. And with that, let me uh, end my babbling. The drawing will go on because I have a second car that I'm drawing from a more interesting perspective that I'm going to do here, but I'm not going to talk any more over it. Feel free to leave me any messages or questions that you have in the comment section below or uh, on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's it with the talk for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Uh, also, if you like this sort of content, feel free to subscribe and uh, hit that little bell button so you get notified when uh, new videos are coming out. And as always, you can also follow me on Instagram for more regular uh, drawing related updates. You can also message me there if you want to. But the most important part is that you folks have a great week and see you next time. Bye bye.